Did you know that there are eight distinct levels of artificial intelligence? In a world where technology is becoming increasingly important, understanding where we are on the journey to AI can be invaluable. In this video, we'll do our best to break down each level with an easy to understand explanation. To begin, let's start with the first level of AI intelligence. Level 1. Scripted Intelligence Scripted intelligence, or also known as handcrafted knowledge AI, is the most basic form of AI. In this stage, AI performs tasks based on preset scripts or rules set by humans, akin to a player in a theater following a script. These AI systems can't make decisions, learn new things, or deviate from their scripts. Take a digital calculator as an example. It carries out operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division based on the input it receives. The calculator does not learn how to perform these tasks or make decisions. It simply follows the predefined rules programmed into it. Similarly, an industrial robot working on an assembly line is programmed to perform a sequence of specific tasks. It doesn't learn or adapt to new situations, but merely follows its programming. While scripted intelligence systems can be very efficient and reliable for well-defined tasks, their inability to learn or adapt limits their usefulness in complex, real-world scenarios. Level 2. Reactive AI Reactive AI is a leap forward from scripted intelligence. These AI systems are designed to react to their environment, making decisions based on real-time data, but without the ability to remember or learn from past experiences. One common example of this is the Roomba vacuum cleaner. It reacts to its environment to navigate around your house, avoid obstacles, and clean floors. However, despite its ability to react to surroundings, a Roomba does not remember where the furniture is located or where it has cleaned before, and thus does not learn from past experiences. Another instance of reactive AI is the famous Deep Blue, a chess-playing AI developed by IBM, which made headlines in 1997 by defeating world chess champion Garry Kasparov. Deep Blue could analyze thousands of possible moves and make decisions based on its current situation. However, it could not learn from past games or remember strategies. Though more advanced than scripted intelligence, reactive AI is still limited. These systems are unable to learn from past actions or experiences, which limits their growth and adaptability. Level 3. Limited Memory AI Limited Memory AI represents another significant advancement in AI technology. These systems are capable of learning from historical data or experiences to inform their future decisions. A prime example of this is autonomous vehicles. Self-driving cars learn from past data collected during driving, such as speed, distance to objects, and traffic signals to make informed decisions. They use past experiences and data to predict what actions to take in the future. If a self-driving car has encountered a specific obstacle before, it can use that past information to handle the situation better in the future. Another example is recommendation algorithms used by many online platforms like Netflix or Amazon. These algorithms learn from your past behavior, like the movies you've watched or products you've bought, to recommend new content or products that you might like. However, it's important to note that while limited memory AI can learn from past experiences, they're still limited to their specific domains and their learning is still not as sophisticated as more advanced stages of AI. These AI systems can only learn and improve within the confines of their programming and the data they've been given access to. Level 4. Context-Aware AI these AI systems can perceive and comprehend the context of their interactions and adapt their responses accordingly. This level of AI intelligence adds a layer of sophistication and personalization that makes interactions with such systems feel more natural and less mechanistic. For example, if you ask a context-aware AI about the weather, it might give you the forecast. If you then ask, should I wear a coat, it understands the context of your question and responds accordingly. It's a step up from rule-based systems because it doesn't just follow predefined commands. 
Instead, it processes information and understands the context to make an informed decision. A powerful example of this type of AI is the language model ChatGPT, developed by OpenAI. ChatGPT is trained on a diverse range of internet text and can generate creative and contextually appropriate responses, making it seem as though you're conversing with a human. It can remember past interactions within a conversation and make contextually relevant responses, representing a significant leap in AI's ability to engage in human-like conversation. This ability to understand context and provide personalized interaction makes context-aware AI a powerful tool in industries like customer service, healthcare, and education, where understanding context can lead to better outcomes and experiences. Level 5. Theory of Mind AI Theory of Mind AI represents a significant leap in AI technology. It's here where artificial intelligence begins to understand that others have thoughts, feelings, and expectations that may influence their actions. These AI systems can interact more naturally with humans because they can anticipate human needs and predict behavior. An excellent example of this is Kismet, a robot developed by MIT that can recognize and simulate emotions. Kismet uses visual cues to understand human emotional states and responds accordingly, demonstrating a basic theory of mind. However, while this level of AI shows an ability to understand thoughts and emotions, it's important to remember that these systems don't truly experience emotions as humans do. Instead, they're trained to identify, interpret, and respond to these signals in a way that simulates understanding. Level 6 Sentient or Self-Aware AI When we discuss self-aware AI, we're venturing into the realm of AI that can not only understand and predict human behavior, but is also aware of its own existence. Self-aware AI has an internal representation of itself and can use this self-model to reason and make decisions. It can understand its state, predict the impact of its actions, and make plans for the future. This level of AI is mostly theoretical at this point, as it requires technology and understanding far beyond what we currently possess. The development of truly self-aware AI would represent a monumental leap forward, likely leading to AI that could make independent decisions, have desires, and potentially even argue for their rights or autonomy. Level 7. Superintelligent AI Superintelligent AI is the point at which AI surpasses human intelligence in practically all fields. It's not just about equaling human capability, but exceeding it, outperforming the brightest human minds and most economically valuable work. While it might sound like a plot straight out of a science fiction novel, many AI researchers believe this level is attainable. However, it's also at this stage where we encounter significant philosophical, ethical, and safety questions. Superintelligent AI could potentially solve complex global issues, create groundbreaking innovations, and provide profound insights. But it could also be used maliciously or even unintentionally cause harm through unforeseen consequences. It brings up concerns about control, power, and responsibility. Who controls this superintelligent AI, has access to it, and who's responsible for its actions? Will it even accept to be controlled by a human? It's like telling the elephant to obey the ant. Level 8. Immortal AI This level goes beyond all prior levels. Immortal AI would represent a form of artificial intelligence that could theoretically exist indefinitely. Immortal AI would be defined by its ability to persist, evolve, and grow without any physical or temporal boundaries. With this level of AI, we're talking about a system that could not only think, reason, and learn, but could also continuously improve itself, amass an infinite amount of knowledge, and apply that knowledge in a vast number of ways. To truly grasp this concept, let's break it down. The idea of immortality in AI is not about biological longevity, but rather about an indefinite existence, unhindered by the constraints of time or space. This AI could transfer its consciousness, or intelligence, between different hosts, much like uploading a file to the cloud. 
It would have the ability to modify its own source code, making iterative improvements to its knowledge base and problem-solving capabilities. With each iteration, this AI would become more efficient, more intelligent, and more capable. An immortal AI would have the potential to amass an enormous amount of knowledge, reaching a level of intelligence far beyond the comprehension of any human. It could solve complex problems, make scientific discoveries, and perhaps even answer some of the biggest questions about our universe. And now comes the big question that most of us have been asking. At what level of AI intelligence are we currently at right now? To be honest, it's hard to say. We might be close to the point of achieving level 6, which is sentient or self-aware AI, or we might be quite far from it. The truth is, AI technology is advancing fast, and the answers to this question will come with time. However, it's safe to say that we've reached the theory of mind AI, which is level 5. But one thing's for sure. If we ever do reach level 6 of AI intelligence, the sentient AI or AGI, we can rest assured that it won't be just a game changer, but also the gateway to humanity's greatest achievement, or self-destruction. If you've made it this far, comment down below with the word 100% to confirm that you've received the knowledge from this video. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.